Hey y'all, God bless you. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make apple pie bars. I was craving an apple pie, only I didn't wanna make a whole pie. So I decided to whip this up and let me tell you, it was so good. So I really hope that you enjoy this video. Before we get into it, please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. We are so close to 1,000. I'm so excited. Thank y'all so much who have recently subscribed to my channel. For those who have supported since day one, I appreciate each and every one of you. If y'all want to see how I make my apple pie bars, then please just keep on watching. So to begin for the crust, you're going to need half a cup of unsalted butter and this is going to be at room temperature. You're also going to need a quarter cup of granulated sugar, one and a quarter cup of all-purpose flour, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. For the apple filling, I have here five gala apples and they are fairly small so that is why I do have five. I'll be using between four to five of them. For the filling, you're also going to need two tablespoons of granulated sugar, two tablespoons of all-purpose flour, one and a half teaspoons of ground cinnamon, and a quarter teaspoon of ground nutmeg. For the crumble topping, we're going to use three quarters of a cup of light brown sugar, three quarters of a cup of all-purpose flour, as well as six tablespoons of chilled butter, and we will be cutting the six tablespoons into cubes. You're also going to need a quarter teaspoon of salt, and a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is make the shortbread crust. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my stick of butter in the mixer. Next, we're gonna add a quarter cup of sugar, and then we're gonna go ahead and cream the sugar and the butter together. So once you have your butter and your sugar creamed together, we can go ahead and add in one teaspoon of vanilla, as well as one and a quarter cup of all-purpose flour. And then we're just gonna go ahead and mix this until everything is combined and the dough is a little bit crumbly. All right, so this is exactly what you want. See how it's nice and crumbly like that. So here I have an 8x8 pan. I'm going to go ahead and spray it with just a little bit of cooking spray and that's just going to act as a glue for my parchment paper. And I am putting parchment paper down because it will make it easier to take the bars out when, it, when they're done. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my dough and put it all in the pan and then you want to push the dough evenly throughout the whole pan. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and bake this in a 350 degree oven for about 12 to 14 minutes just until the dough is slightly puffed up. So while the crust is baking, we'll go ahead and work on our filling. And here I just have my apples that I've sliced up. I give them a rough, rough chop. I'm going to go ahead and add in my two tablespoons of sugar two tablespoons of flour, quarter of a teaspoon of ground nutmeg, and my one and a half teaspoons of ground cinnamon. Go ahead and mix all this together. Let me tell you guys, it smells so good already. Mm. Okay, so then we're just gonna set this aside while our crust continues baking and we can work on our crumble topping. All right, so now we're gonna work on our crumble topping. So we're gonna put three quarters of a cup of brown sugar, three quarters of a cup of flour, quarter of a teaspoon of salt. And just because I like the flavor of cinnamon, the cinnamon is optional, you don't have to add it. But I'm gonna put half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And then here I have my six tablespoons of cold butter. And I am just gonna cube it up and then add it into the mixture. And 
And then we're gonna go ahead and mix this together. If you have a pastry cutter, that will be good. I don't have a pastry cutter, so I'm just gonna use my potato masher. And you just wanna mix everything until it's combined and crumbly. Or your hands. I don't really like using my hands because the heat from my hands warms up the butter. But you could put it in the fridge for a few minutes so it can get hardened again. So this is what you want, essentially just a crumble topping. I am gonna go ahead and put this back in the fridge though for just a few minutes so it could chill back up so the butter is chilled. <laughs> All right, so my crust just came out. You could see it has slightly puffed up a little bit. You wanna keep your oven temperature to 350 and then you can go ahead and pour your apple topping on top. Apple filling rather, not topping. And then we're gonna go ahead and sprinkle the crumble topping on top. All right, so then you wanna go ahead, like I said, maintain your 350 degree temperature in the oven and then you wanna bake this for 40 to 45 minutes until the topping is nice and golden brown. All right, so here they are. I did bake this for 40 minutes. As you can see, it is nice and golden brown. So now you wanna go ahead and let this cool on the counter for about one to two hours and then place it in the fridge and let it cool for another couple hours. So here it is. It's been chilling in the fridge for quite a few hours. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it out and then cut it into bars. Now we're just gonna go ahead and cut to bars. All right, so then we're just gonna top it off with some whipped cream. You could actually warm this up in the microwave for a little bit and put um, ice cream, but we're just gonna put a little bit of Cool Whip. So here it is. Look at all those layers. Delicious. Now it's time to taste. Trying out my wife's apple pie bar. It's gonna be fire. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you like it? I approve. <laughs> Delicious, baby. Two thumbs up? Thumbs up. <laughs> All right, y'all, that wraps up this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. As usual, if y'all give this recipe a try, you'll have to let me know in the comments below. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. God bless y'all today and always, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.